And this is the global forecast for October 2016 and I have been so looking forward to doing this one with a mixture of both anticipation and trepidation. It's going to be the month of the year, probably. Lots of things going on. Firstly, let's get the basics out of the way. Am I worried about Venus being in the second half of Scorpio and then the first half of Sagittarius? No. Am I worried about the new moon at zero uh, on the 1st of October um, at, um, in, in, in early mid Libra? No, not really. Am I worried about Mercury being at the end of Virgo, clearing Mercury retrograde shadow finally on October the 8th? Although I'm already looking to the next Mercury retrograde in mid-December. But no, we're out of the shadow by October the 8th. And then Mercury moves into Libra. And then around the 24th, the 25th, it moves into Scorpio. But am I worried by Mercury? No. Mercury, Venus of a new moon, not worried. Not worried about Saturn. Saturn's now beginning to move forward and he's clearing the square to Neptune. He's cleared the square to Neptune. Because of this, yeah, those people born in the first week of June and December and um, March and September, yeah, you're getting hammered, but... It's coming to an end. And Saturn isn't on my radar, really, in terms of new challenges. Neither is Neptune. It's the cardinal signs. Cancer, Libra, Aries, Capricorn. They're the ones who are getting hit. Reason for this. Uh, Jupiter's moved into Libra. And I've, and I've constantly been getting emails from people born in the last week of June, December, September, March, going... Why isn't anything happening to us? I bet you're not writing to me now. Not with Jupiter being there. Those people born in the last week of those months are really being affected by Jupiter this month and it's way over the top. So that's eliminated the movements of the new moon, Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune. What's that leave? That leaves Mars and Pluto and Uranus and the full moon. The full moon is on October the 16th at about 4.25, 5.25 in the morning UK time. And it's at 23 degrees of Aries, exactly conjunct Uranus. That in itself is a pretty big full moon. That's going to be very unpredictable, volatile, dramatic, unexpected, possibly quite explosive. Add to this... But immediately after this, Mars in the sky will conjunct Pluto. The actual date of a conjunction is the 19th, but from the 16th to the 21st, Mars in the sky will be conjuncting Pluto the same time as the Aries full moon. Mars conjunct Pluto in Capricorn does anticipate some type of major explosive action. Whether it's geophysical, political, economic, military, I don't know. But certainly the third week of October this year is one of the most risky times of the year, if not the most risky time of 2016. And I'm pretty damn convinced that something's going to happen. And of course, I'm not always right. In fact, I'm only right just more than half the time. But third week of October, folks, watch it. It's, it's going to be a stinker. And if you're one of these people who's already being affected by Pluto or Uranus, then you might want to sort of duck at that time because it's going to be quite explosive. Hits a number of prominent people's charts and a number of prominent countries' charts. So I do anticipate this third week of October, the influences to be as much global, as much as if not more than personal. And I think the world's going to be a very different place by the end of October. Forewarned is forearmed. I mean, I should be on holiday <laughs> and getting ready to do my Denmark trip, which has been the last week of October. Uh, but um, then we've got the American election at the start of November, and I'll be doing a set of videos on that in the near future. But this coming month, if the planet, if the Earth were my client and all the people were one, I'd be saying as far as October this year, year goes please have a, a proactive yes but a very cautious and considered month catch you later